Hi, I'm Bob Shrupp, physical therapist. Brad Hannig, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. Well, in our opinion, of course. Continuing on our series of what to do with crutches and how to use them correctly, this is how to get it uh, up and down from chairs. Right. We're going to first start with a chair that has um, actual some armrests. Okay. A couple ways to do it. One is you can take both crutches, put them out like that, so that their, their armrest is exposed. Take the palm of your heel right there and right there. Grab the crutches with your fingers, okay? And then just stand up like this. And you notice he moved to the edge of the chair because it's very difficult to get out of a chair from the back of a chair. Right. I'm back here. It's a lot. Yeah. yeah. So you move all the way to the edge of the chair without falling off the chair. Okay. And now, and then you're going to really lean forward a lot right. more than you think you would normally. This, this red tape means that's the leg I cannot bear weight, so I do keep it out in front of me. Pull this foot underneath. It's much easier to how I lean forward, pull the foot underneath, push up, and. Keep that leg off the ground, and there you go. And people are always leaning more forward than you think it, you are to get out of a chair. It really, you got to lean forward. Okay. People are afraid they're going to fall forward. But all right, how about getting down in the chair with the arms spread? Okay, this is the way I like to do it, Bob. And you might do it a little different. I like to just go here. Yep. Put both of them here. Reach back for that armrest and sit down. There you go. I, and you can do it getting up that way as well, as well as the way we yes, just. Yes, you can previously demonstrated and you can do it this way too here and here there yeah it both works well what we don't want to see is doing this Brad we don't want to see you going like this backing up to the chair and then going yeah yeah exactly and this is a disaster ready to happen yeah. so you can either put it there or put it there and the same for getting up Brad was mentioning when you get up you can actually put them all both on one side put here put the one that's going to give you trouble and then lean forward. Yeah. So either way it'll work. We're now going to show you how to get up and out of a chair with no arm rest. A little more tricky. But once you learn the trick, it's no problem. Right. Okay. All right. So let's say I'm walking up to it here. No arm or no arm rest. Oh my God! What do I do with no arm rest? Fear not. Okay. What you're going to do? I'm going to turn this this way so you can see what I'm doing. You're going to come to the side of the chair. Okay, now you have an automatic armrest right here. The backrest becomes the armrest. Get these two crutches together, grab that armrest, put your sore leg out in front of you, and slowly lower, lower yourself, yourself down. down. Yeah. And voila. Well, you know, we want to avoid obviously chairs with wheels and also with casters and also <laughs> chairs with a kind of a, a Bouncy back, what would right, you call like that? Right, like a flexible, a flexible back. Right. All right, why don't you show getting out of the chair, Brad? Okay, again, you're going to rotate to the side of the chair. We have this here. Get your crutches put together. Now, again, this foot you pull forward and get underneath you, and you're going to lean forward quite a bit. Nose over the toes, as we yeah. say. Yep. On the edge of the chair and push straight down and up. You do need to make sure that the chair is not going to go back this way. And that's something you can kind of get a feel for if it's a wild wing chair. And then get your crutches in place and carry on with the day. So, all right, very good. Thanks.